Welcome to the Greg's Review Show. Today, today we're going to get into a very, very important topic. Thumbs up, thumbs up, like and share this video. Please support us through Cash App. That's G R C dollar sign man trap. Any donation greatly appreciated, whether it's 50 cents or a dollar. Please help support us. Hit that thumbs up, thumbs up button right there. There you go. Hit that thumbs up. Like and share the video. We'll greatly appreciate it. We're going to get into this story of Derek. Uh, fair use, fair use of the video. And uh, I'll be back to respond on it. But uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. Of Derek, Leah, and Terrence. Three people whose lives are about to be forever changed by the choices they've made and the truths they've hidden. Our story centers around three individuals, Leah, the beautiful bride, Derek, her devoted groom, and Terence, his best friend, three lives intertwined by fate and friendship. But beneath the surface of this close-knit bond lies a hidden truth. Derek and Terence share a connection far deeper than anyone knows, a connection that threatens to unravel everything on this fateful night. As Derek stands at the altar, he is torn between the life he is about to commit to with Leah and the secret life he has been living with Terence. A secret that, once uncovered, will shatter everything in its wake. Every story has its beginning, a place where bonds are formed, secrets are kept, and lives intertwine. This story begins with a friendship, one that stretches back through years of shared experiences laughter and unspoken understanding. Derek and Terence were more than just companions. They were each other's confidants, allies in a world that often felt too large and too overwhelming to face alone. From the outside, their relationship seemed like any other, close, supportive, unwavering. But beneath the surface, there was something more, something that neither of them could fully acknowledge let alone reveal. As the years passed, their bond only grew stronger. They were inseparable, the kind of friends who could finish each other's sentences, who understood each other's thoughts without a word being spoken. When Leah entered the picture, she was welcomed into their tight-knit circle. She saw two men who cared deeply for each other, and she was drawn to their closeness, believing it to be a sign of Derek's capacity for love and loyalty. But what she didn't see, what she couldn't see, were the moments when Derek and Terence would exchange a look, a touch, a word that carried a weight she would never understand. As the wedding day approached, Derek found himself struggling with an anxiety he couldn't shake. He loved Leah, he truly did. But there was something else something that had been lurking in the shadows for far too long, waiting to be confronted. Terence could see it too, the way Derek's smile no longer reached his eyes, the way his laughter seemed forced, hollow. Leah, in her happiness, was blissfully unaware of the storm brewing just beneath the surface. But to understand the true depth of this story, we must go back, back to a time before the engagement, before the wedding preparations, to a moment when everything changed. It was a night like any other, or so it seemed. Derek and Terence were alone, as they often were, sharing a quiet evening after a long day. But something was different this time, something unspoken hung in the air between them. It had always been there, this tension, this unacknowledged connection. But they had never dared to cross that line. Yet. On this night, they did. A glance lingered a moment too long, a hand brushed against a shoulder with more intent than usual, and suddenly the boundary that had kept them safe, that had kept their relationship simple, was shattered. What followed was a night of confusion, passion and fear. They were no longer just friends. They had become something else, something they couldn't easily define, and something they knew they could never reveal. Mike Rogers said he supports all restrictions on abortion. He backed four bills to ban abortion with no exceptions. 
even to save a woman's life. We have to stop Mike Rogers. In the days and weeks that followed, they kept their secret buried deep, hidden from the world and from Leah. But with every stolen moment, every secret meeting, the weight of their deception grew heavier. Derek was torn between two worlds, the life he had always known, the life he was expected to live, and the life he had glimpsed, one filled with a love that was as terrifying as it was consuming. Terence felt it too, the dread of what they had done, and the even greater dread of what would happen if the truth ever came to light. As the wedding day drew nearer, the tension between Derek and Terence became impossible to ignore. They tried to act as if nothing had changed, as if their relationship was the same as it had always been. But they both knew it wasn't. Derek's behaviour became erratic, his mood swinging wildly from joy to despair, from excitement to fear. He threw himself into the wedding preparations with a fervour that surprised everyone. But those closest to him could see the cracks beginning to form. Terence, meanwhile, was a picture of calm on the outside, but inside he was a storm of emotions, love, guilt, jealousy, and an overwhelming sense of loss. Leah, in her blissful ignorance, was focused on the details of the wedding, the dress, the flowers, the guest list. She was filled with excitement and anticipation, dreaming of the life she was about to begin with the man she loved. She didn't see the way Derek would stare off into the distance when he thought no one was watching, didn't notice how his hands would tremble slightly when he spoke of the future. She couldn't understand the way he would sometimes pull away from her touch, as if he were afraid of something or someone. And then there were the moments between Derek and Terence, moments that were almost imperceptible, but that spoke volumes. A glance held a fraction too long, a hand lingering on a shoulder, a whisper shared in the quiet of a crowded room. These moments were brief, fleeting, but they were enough to stir a sense of unease in those who noticed them. Terence was struggling too, caught between his love for Derek and his fear of what was to come. He knew the wedding would change everything, knew that once the vows were spoken, their relationship, whatever it had become, would have to end. The closer they got to the wedding day, the more the tension grew. Derek found himself waking up in the middle of the night, drenched in sweat, heart pounding in his chest. He would lie there, staring at the ceiling, his mind racing with thoughts of what he was about to do and what he was about to lose. Terence was a constant presence in his life, and yet there was a distance between them that hadn't been there before. A distance created by fear, by guilt, by the knowledge that the life they had known was about to be torn apart. And so, with every passing day, the suspense built, the tension between Derek and Terence becoming more and more unbearable. The wedding day was looming on the horizon like a storm cloud, dark and ominous, threatening to destroy everything in its path. Derek was caught in a web of his own making, and he knew that no matter what he did, no matter which path he chose, someone was going to get hurt. He just didn't know how much, or how soon. The wedding day, a day meant to be filled with joy and celebration, had finally arrived. Derek stood at the altar, his heart pounding, not with the excitement one would expect, but with a gnawing anxiety that threatened to consume him. As he watched Leah walk down the aisle, every step she took felt like another nail in the coffin of the life he thought he should be living. Terence was there, just a few feet away, standing as Derek's best man, a role he had played for years in more ways than one. But today, that title felt heavier than ever before. Derek's mind raced as he recited his vows, the words feeling hollow in his mouth. He glanced at Terence, who forced a smile, but Derek could see the pain in his eyes, the silent struggle as he watched the man he loved, 
marry someone else. The ceremony continued as expected. Vows were exchanged, rings were slipped onto fingers, and the couple was pronounced husband and wife. But for Derek, each word, each gesture, was a painful reminder of the truth he had been hiding and the love he could never openly claim. At the reception, the mood was jubilant, but Derek was far from it. His mind was a whirlwind of thoughts and emotions, torn between the life he had just committed to and the intense connection with Terence that had sparked only recently. Leah, glowing with happiness, was oblivious to the storm brewing inside her new husband. But as the night wore on, even she began to notice that Derek was distant, his smiles forced, his laughter hollow. Terence, too, was struggling. Every congratulatory toast, every smile he offered, felt like a dagger in his heart. He and Derek exchanged brief, tense glances throughout the night, their shared secret hanging over them like a dark cloud. The day, filled with love and celebration for everyone else, was a bittersweet reminder for Derek and Terence of the truth they were trying so desperately to bury. As the reception began to wind down, Derek's unease became more apparent. Leah noticed how he seemed distracted, his mind somewhere far away. She tried to brush it off as exhaustion from the day's events. But something about his demeanor didn't sit right with her. Derek had always been attentive, loving, but tonight he was distant, almost detached. Every time she tried to engage him, his responses were curt, his eyes wandering around the room as if searching for something or someone. The truth was, Derek couldn't stop thinking about Terence. The affair, a recent and unexpected development, had thrown him into turmoil. The connection between them had ignited in the days leading up to the wedding, and now, on what should have been the happiest day of his life, Derek was overwhelmed with guilt and confusion. He had tried to focus on Leah, to be the husband she deserved, but his mind kept drifting back to Terence, and the guilt was eating away at him, the weight of his double life becoming unbearable. What the hell? Life's hard enough. With Trump, harder. He gave tax breaks to billionaires. Billionaires. Sent jobs overseas. Crippling manufacturing. His plan? More tax breaks for billionaires. Raises the retirement age. Cuts Medicare. And we get? The bill. It's time to turn the page. Kamala will crack down on price gouging. Big Pharma. Make it easier. To afford a home. A family. And billionaires pay. Kamala. Kamala. Kamala's for us. Why are doctors using this weird lamp to eliminate mold from their clinics? And in 15 minutes, you know what's happening? This amazingly high-tech device is neutralizing bacteria, viruses, and fungus all over the room and the air itself. So it's sterilizing and neutralizing the air. That's what you're going to notice when you come back in, that the air seems weirdly fresh. Surprisingly, many people don't realize that mold, a primary culprit behind various health issues, is present in 70% of American homes. Traditional methods like cleaning with bleach, using dehumidifiers or air filters only provide temporary relief and never <coughs> deal with the issue at its root. The only real solution is to eliminate mold permanently. Doctors, surgeons, and the airline industry know this. They've been using UVO technology for years to protect their patients and passengers. The best part? This very similar technology is now made accessible to you. Introducing the UV Lizer, a portable, breakthrough, easy to use device that emits UVC light and ozone, penetrating the most infected surfaces and eradicating mold from the source so it can help with coughing, <laughs> congestion, brain fog, stress, low mood, or any other mold caused symptoms. UV Lizer uses UVO technology that we've seen hospitals using and doctors recommending, so it's completely safe. Just turn it on in the area you want to sanitize. Wait for 15 minutes, then come back into a space that's refreshingly clean. This is ideal for anyone seeking lasting relief from brain fog, fatigue, and restless nights. UV Lizer has already offered over 20,000 Americans of all ages a pathway to breathe easier and finally live in a mold-free environment. I suffer with asthma and my husband has allergies. And since buying two Uvalizers, I get six to eight hours of uninterrupted sleep now. But this is the only product that I found on the internet that actually works. My allergy symptoms are gone, completely gone. This tool is constantly out of stock because people are opting for the
As the night wore on, Derek's anxiety grew. He knew he needed to talk to Terence to try and resolve the turmoil inside him, but he couldn't do it here, not with Leah watching. Terence, meanwhile, was battling his own demons. The affair had been brief, but intense, a whirlwind of emotions that neither had been prepared for. Seeing Derek with Leah was more painful than he had imagined. Every smile, every touch between the newlyweds felt like a reminder of what he could never have. Terence could see the conflict in Derek's eyes, the way he avoided looking at Leah too long, the way his gaze kept finding Terence across the room. They had spent weeks hiding their relationship, but tonight the strain of that secrecy was becoming too much to bear. The tension between them was palpable, noticed only by those who knew where to look. As the evening wound down, Derek and Leah retired to their bridal suite. Leah was still basking in the joy of the day, looking forward to a romantic night with her new husband. But Derek couldn't bring himself to engage. The thought of being intimate with Leah felt wrong, like he was betraying not just her, but also Terence. He made excuses saying he was exhausted from the day, that the stress of the wedding had taken its toll. Leah, though disappointed, accepted his explanation. She kissed him goodnight, trying to be understanding, but the seed of doubt had already been planted in her mind. Derek lay beside Leah, staring at the ceiling, his mind racing. He knew he was hurting her, that she deserved more than what he could give, but he couldn't bring himself to pretend. The guilt, the fear, the love he felt for Terence. It was all too much. He couldn't sleep, his thoughts too loud, too overwhelming. After what felt like hours of tossing and turning, he made a decision. He needed to talk to Terence to try and make sense of the mess they had created. Maybe, if they could talk, he could finally settle his mind, find some peace, and figure out how to move forward. Unable to sleep, Derek quietly slipped out of bed, careful not to wake Leah. The halls of the hotel were dark and silent, the quiet only amplifying the turmoil inside him. As he walked towards Terence's room, his heart pounded in his chest, not with anticipation, but with fear. He needed to talk to Terence to try and find a way to resolve the tension that had been building between them for weeks. The closer he got to the door, the heavier his steps felt, as if his body was trying to stop him from reaching his destination. When he finally knocked on Terence's door, there was a long, agonising pause before it opened. Terence stood there, his eyes filled with the same turmoil Derek felt. He was dressed only in his underwear, the vulnerability of the moment stark and undeniable. They didn't need words, they both knew why Derek was there. Derek stepped inside, the door closing behind him with a finality that made his heart sink. They sat down, the air thick with unspoken emotions. Derek tried to start the conversation, to talk about what had happened, to find a way to move forward without destroying everything. But the words wouldn't come. The room was filled with a heavy silence, each man lost in his own thoughts, unable to break the tension that hung between them. Finally. Derek spoke. He confessed his love for Terence, admitting that he couldn't let go, that he didn't know how to move on with Leah while his heart still belonged to someone else. He asked Terence the same question he had been asking himself. What were they supposed to do now? But before they could find any answers, the emotions that had been building all night finally erupted. The need to feel something, to find some kind of release from the pain and confusion, took over. And in a moment of weakness, they gave in to the desire that had been simmering beneath the surface. The affair, which had begun only recently, unfolded in the darkness of Terence's room, both men fully aware of the consequences but unable to stop themselves. It was a brief, desperate attempt to hold on to something they knew they were about to lose. But just as quickly as it began, it was over, leaving them both with a deeper sense of guilt. Election season is here. Remember, who you vote for is secret. 
But whether you vote is public information, after this election, your voting record will be updated and your friends and family will be able to look up how often you vote. So vote on or by Tuesday, November 5th. This is the fastest way to get rid of neuropathy. What happens when neuropathy takes over and your feet start to feel and dread? Derek pulled away, his mind racing with thoughts of Leah, of the life he had just promised her, of the future that now seemed more uncertain than ever. As the reality of what they had done began to sink in, Derek knew he couldn't go back to the bridal suite, couldn't face Leah with the weight of what had just happened pressing down on him. He sat on the edge of the bed, his head in his hands, trying to figure out how everything had gone so wrong. Terence, too, was lost in thought, realizing that they had crossed a line they could never uncross. The night, which had started with such promise, had turned into a nightmare from which there was no escape. Meanwhile, Leah stirred in her sleep. She reached out for Derek, but when her hand touched the cold, empty side of the bed, she jolted awake. Panic set in as she realized he wasn't there. She called his name, her voice trembling, but there was no response. Her heart raced as she slipped out of bed, pulling on her robe as she left the room. The hotel was eerily quiet, the only sound her soft footsteps echoing through the hallway. A sense of dread filled her as she walked, her mind racing with possibilities, each more terrifying than the last. Leah's intuition led her to Terence's room. She hesitated outside the door, a knot forming in her stomach as she raised her hand to knock. She knocked once. Nothing. She knocked again, harder this time. Still nothing. With each unanswered knock, her anxiety grew, her mind racing with fear and suspicion. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the door creaked open. Terence stood there, his eyes wide with surprise and guilt, dressed only in his underwear. The sight was enough to send a shockwave through Leah. She didn't need to see Derek to know what had happened. The truth, which had been lurking in the shadows, was now staring her in the face, undeniable and devastating. The man she had just married, the man she thought she knew, had betrayed her in the worst way possible, and in that moment, Leah's world came crashing down. The door creaked open and Leah stood frozen in the doorway, her mind struggling to process the scene before her. Terence, standing there in his underwear, guilt written all over his face. And just beyond him, Derek, her husband of only a few hours, was seated on the edge of the bed, his face a mask of shame and despair. The truth that had been gnawing at the edges of Leah's consciousness now crashed into her with full force. Betrayal, humiliation, rage. They all surged through her at once, a tidal wave of emotions too powerful to control. Leah's voice trembled as she demanded answers, her words sharp and venomous. Derek, desperate and cornered, tried to explain, but the words caught in his throat. Terence, equally terrified, could only watch as the situation spiralled out of control. Leah's anger boiled over, her hands shaking as she pointed accusingly at Derek, her voice growing louder and more frantic with each word. The betrayal cut deeper than she could have ever imagined, and with each passing second, the pain turned into something darker, something more dangerous. In a moment of overwhelming emotion, Leah lunged at Derek, her fury driving her actions. The room erupted into chaos, the tension that had been building all night finally snapping. Derek tried to hold her back, his voice pleading for her to calm down, but the words fell on deaf ears. The betrayal had shattered something inside Leah, something that could never be repaired. Terence, caught between his love for Derek and his guilt over the affair, could do nothing but watch in horror as the confrontation escalated, the situation spiralling out of control faster than anyone could stop it. As the confrontation reached its peak, Leah's emotions overwhelmed her completely. In a moment of blind rage, she grabbed the nearest object a heavy, decorative lamp 
and swung it with all her strength. The room fell into a stunned silence as the lamp connected with Derek's head, the impact sending him crashing to the floor. Blood pooled quickly around him, and for a split second, time seemed to freeze. Terence rushed to Derek's side, his hands trembling as he tried to stop the bleeding, but it was too late. The damage was done, and Derek's lifeless eyes stared back at him, the horror of what had just happened sinking in. Leah stood frozen, the reality of her actions slowly dawning on her. But the rage had not yet fully subsided. In her grief and madness, she turned to Terence, blaming him for everything that had happened, for destroying the life she had just begun. The pain, the humiliation, the loss. They all converged in her mind, and before she could stop herself, she lashed out again, her hands fueled by a desperate need to end the nightmare. Terence, caught off guard, barely had time to react before Leah's attack landed. The room descended into madness as Leah's grief and rage consumed her, the sound of her sobs mingling with the desperate pleas from Terence, who could see the end coming but was powerless to stop it. The second blow struck Terence down, his body collapsing beside Derek's, the blood from both men mingling on the cold, unforgiving floor. And then there was silence. A heavy, suffocating silence that seemed to echo the finality of what had just occurred. Leah stood in the middle of the room, her breath coming in ragged gasps, her mind struggling to comprehend what she had done. The lamp slipped from her fingers, clattering to the floor beside the two lifeless bodies that had once been her husband and his best friend. The enormity of her actions hit her like a physical blow the reality of the situation setting in with a cold, harsh clarity. Frantic, Leah dropped to her knees beside Derek, her hands trembling as she reached out to him, trying to shake him awake as if he could simply get up and this nightmare would be over. But Derek didn't move, his eyes staring blankly at the ceiling, and the horror of what she had done washed over her in waves. Her cries grew louder, more desperate, as she realized there was no undoing what had just happened. The man she had loved, the man she had vowed to spend her life with, was gone, taken by her own hand in a moment of uncontrollable rage. Terence lay beside him, his face twisted in an expression of shock and fear, his body just as still, just as cold. Leah's mind raced, her thoughts tumbling over one another in a desperate attempt to find a way out, a way to fix what she had done. She looked around the room, her eyes wild, searching for something, anything that could make this all go away. But there was nothing, no escape, no way to undo the devastation she had wrought, the blood on her hands, on the floor, on the walls. It was all too real. When I have to tell a patient something's wrong in her pregnancy, it's heartbreaking. Those decisions are between the two final. In her That's it, uh, YouTubers. I thought I'd bring this here uh, video about Leah and the situation, uh, what happened in her marriage. It's just terrible. Uh, this guy had a came forward from the beginning of the relationship this probably would have never happened. So that's just terrible that this situation had to happen. I wonder, did she see any signs of this dude uh, before she got married by him being down low and keeping secrets from her? Was there any red flags that we missed it? Was there anything that she could have done earlier to stop this thing from happening? Mainly, I, what I see is that this guy should have just been up front, straightforward from the beginning, taking her through this madness craziness. It's just sickening. Ladies and gentlemen, especially the dudes, if that's what you're into, don't deceive these young ladies out here. Be honest with yourself. Tell the truth. Tell them who you really are and what you really are all about. Hopefully, this message will get to someone that can save lives, that can save relationships, that can save friendships.
Please like and share this video with someone. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Like and share this video again. Please support us through Cash App. That's G R C dollar sign man trap. Any donation, whether it's 50 cents or a dollar, be greatly appreciated. And again, thank you for tuning in to Greg's Review Show. I'll talk to you next week with a good video. Bye bye.